What's up everybody, it's your man Jay Field from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com. If this is your first time, welcome. And yes, this is the sixth edition of MF Doom Inspired Techniques. So let's get into it. Question of the day, and I cannot believe I didn't ask this before. <laughs> What is the first track that comes to mind when you hear the name MF Doom? Whether he's rapping on it, whether he produced it, whether he collabed, I don't care. What's the first song or album that you think of? Write that down in the comments. For me, I have to say Doomsday. And speaking of Doomsday, listen to this track. We're going to talk about tempo changes. Let's go. Is that not bananas? <laughs> For those that don't know, that actually came from the Beatles. Real, real crazy, man. And the song actually slows down. So we're going to simulate that. I think it's genius that he decided to make a beat off of it and was able to rap in time with the beat changing up like that. So right now you're looking at my Pro Tools screen. I got some tracks up and we're going to simulate that. And I want y'all to use this in your own way. This is how we gonna do it. I mean, let me play this beat real quick. All right, so it's just like, we're looking at a four bar loop right now, right here, this whole section. And I normally, I'm gonna be honest, I would not normally do something like this, but some of you may want to. I've talked about tempo changes in another video on how to do it on the MPC. So you can check that out. You see this is four bars once again, and the BPM is 92. If you are working with a DAW, whatever DAW you have, try this, four bar loops. When you get to the second bar, change the tempo. So you're gonna set a marker. You're gonna set a marker and just change the tempo, right? So I said it was at 92. Let's try, let's slow it down to 82 pretty drastic change right right and keep in mind all this is midi information this is not audio this is midi let's hear that right there four bar loops watch it slow down did y'all hear that so we're going to take it even further okay the second bar is going to you know go slower let's change it again at the Actually, the third bar, <laughs> the third bar, when you get to the, so, so bar, the third bar of the four bar loop, I'm sorry if I'm confusing y'all, you're going to change it, and then you're going to change it again when you get to the fourth bar, all right, we're going to try a tempo change of 72, even more drastic, right, see how it just stretched, this is very simple. Now watch this. See, then it goes back to the, excuse me, bass. <laughs> and then it goes back to, to the regular tempo. Okay, so the first two bars right here is set at your original tempo. When you get to bar number three, take it down maybe about, I don't know, 10. So that was 82 BPM. And then when you get to the fourth bar, take it down 10 more, 72. That, that's just what I did. So I started at 92, then I went to 82, then in 72. But you can do whatever BPM you want to. This is just a, a quick, you know, simulation technique on slowing down your beats that way. And I like to use samples that have, you know, chords that can slow down, like MIDI. This is why I'm saying MIDI. If you did this with audio, you could do it, but you would have to deal with time. You would have to deal with time stretching or make sure the uh, audio is long enough and sustained where you can do it without really messing up the, you know, the flow of the beat. All right, so let's add in another sound on here. This is a synthesizer sound. So this technique is not going to be for everybody. I'm letting you know now. <laughs> Matter of fact, some of y'all might think might be thinking, was well, he drunk when he made this beat? 
Or what was MF Doom thinking when he made his beat? Was he drunk, high? I don't know. <laughs> but let's hear what it sounds with a synthesizer lead on top of it. I'm saying <laughs> no I was not high I was not drunk I'm just experimenting man try that home <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one peace so if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button more to come check out the website check out all my social links below this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you will be notified every time I upload a new video. All right, peace.